All right, guys, today we have some extremely good news about Returnal to go over and talk about because the reviews are finally here. And I'm happy to let everybody know that Returnal is proving a lot of people wrong. And I think really surprising a lot of people. Now, I put out a video a couple of days ago talking about how Returnal is surprising everyone with the previews that came out and how positive the previews were and how excited everybody was when they were talking about it. And so in this video, we're going to be going over the final reviews. We're not going to go over everything, but it seems that Returnal is going to be one of the best games that people play this year based off of what I've been reading, uh, based off of the Metacritic score. I mean, obviously, this isn't what you should use to decide whether or not you're going to purchase and support a game, but it does help, right? If there's a game that maybe you're on the fence about, when you wait for reviews and you see, oh, it's actually reviewing really well and people really like it and they're recommending it, it might sway you to be like, all right, I'm gonna take a chance and I'm gonna try it. And I think for a game like Returnal, that's even more important considering it is a full priced game. And that's the biggest question that I think a lot of people had is, is this truly a AAA experience? And based off of everything I'm reading and seeing, it seems like it is. So we're gonna go over this today. I also wanna let you know that we're gonna be talking about what Housemark themselves actually had to say with the launch of Returnal and they actually went out of their way to not only thank sony but kind of remind everyone that yeah sony is out here taking some pretty significant risks with games like returnal and really giving smaller studios like housemark a really big opportunity so we're going to talk about that as well before we do though i want to let you know two things first i have a new merch line that's going to be going up it is up now but you should see it appearing under videos within the next 24 hours hopefully and it's obviously inspired by returnal uh, so go check that out if you're interested and later today i will be streaming the state of play that will be focused around ratchet and clank so i'm going live here on the channel if everything goes according to plan at 4 30 p.m eastern so be sure to uh come hang out with me when we do that but looking over here on metacritic returnal a playstation 5 exclusive the first big playstation 5 exclusive of 2021 is sitting at an 86 based off of 81 reviews so that's a lot of reviews and it's holding a really really high score now i do need to let you know just how impressive this really is not only is this housemark's first attempt at a true triple a title but it's a brand new ip this is the first time they're making a third person shooter this is the first time that they have a narrative driven experience um uh, yeah experience with returnal and it's it's just very surprising to see them kind of come out swinging in such a significant way when honestly there was a lot stacked against them but sony believed in them they believed in themselves and they seem to have delivered something uh, truly amazing here with Returnal. So looking at some of the reviews, I'm just going to give you some uh, brief summaries of what some outlets are saying. So we have Game Rant giving it a 10 out of 10, saying Returnal is an excellent video game flirting with perfection. It has the most satisfying gameplay loop Housemark has crafted to date, which says a lot considering the studio's pedigree. If PlayStation's other PS5 exclusives feel even half as satisfying as Returnal does, fans are in for one hell of a console generation so some huge praise from game rant i mean they're saying this game is nearly perfect they're talking about how addicting the gameplay loop is and they're just saying that like other playstation 5 exclusives are going to have to compete with returnal that's how good it is to them so we also have daily star giving it a 10 out of 10 saying i have thoroughly enjoyed playing returnal so far and it's unique die and start over mechanic excellent graphics gameplay and sound all work brilliantly to deliver yet another fantastic first party exclusive for the ps5 and so there's actually a a handful of 10 out of 10s here from android central uh, game spew but let's keep moving on here we have uh, game revolution giving it a 9.5 out of 10, saying Returnal is unambiguously and thoroughly an outstanding game, mixing the RPG progression and ever-evolving suite of roguelike hooks with a frenetic third-person shooter results in a new experience with two halves that make each other better, as it did with the PS3, Vita, and PS4. 
Housemark has once again provided Sony with another launch era hit, and in doing so has created a rewarding, replayable, and revolutionary game that's hopefully the foundation for other future AAA titles that are as clever with the roguelite blueprint. So see, that's really significant, man. Like they're talking about Returnal as if it's it, it's it's doing things that other games just simply have never done before. It's creating a blueprint for like a different type of game, basically, which is kind of crazy to me uh, because this is not the first time I'm hearing this. We also have Game Informer giving it a 9.5 out of 10, saying Returnal is a relentless nightmare that's a dream to play. The journey is full of horror and terrible discoveries, but also unbridled curiosity and wonder. If you have the taste for it, this is an adventure that begs to be experienced. And then we have WCCF Tech giving it a 9.3 out of 10, saying barring a sci-fi horror tale that doesn't quite nail the slow building reveal, Housemark has absolutely succeeded with their fusion of third-person shooting and roguelike elements in Returnal, one of my personal favorite PlayStation 5 titles so far. And so I'm going to keep moving along here to find some other uh, notable outlets. We have Gaming Bolt giving it a 9 out of 10, saying Returnal is an outstanding game, one that easily and instantly claims the proud title of being Housemark's best game to date and is an unmissable killer app very early in the PS5's life. So some huge praise here, man, some huge praise. We have GameSpot giving it a 9 out of 10, saying Returnal is constantly unsettling and consistently challenging. Its mysterious story and demanding action feels intense urgent and fresh. The fast moving combat manages to appear incredibly daunting, bordering on overwhelming without ever actually becoming insurmountable. Every moment is a rush either because you just barely evaded a giant purple laser or because you have no idea why there's an Apollo era astronaut following your every move. Do you need to be a little brave to play Returnal? Yeah. Do you need to be a glutton for punishment? It helps. They say that anything worth doing should scare you a little, at least a little bit. I'm not sure if that's always true, but Returnal uh, makes a strong case. So uh, GameSpot seems to be really focusing on like the uh, difficulty of the game. Apparently it is a relatively challenging game. I don't think it's as challenging as some people are thinking it may be, but they're saying that, you know, it's definitely a game that's not going to hold your hand. And uh, I'm moving along. There's just so many 9 out of 10s, 9.3 out of 10s. Um, I'm seeing a lot of 88s. I'm seeing 87s. So um, we have Easy Allies, they're giving it an 85 or an 8.5 out of 10 saying Returnal is a great debut for Housemark on the PS5. The $70 price tag may be off-putting for some, but it makes a great case for itself thanks to excellent gameplay and intriguing narrative and replayability. It would be nice if some of the areas felt more distinct from one another, and there are a few tech issues left to iron out. Regardless, Returnal is a blast to play and worth going down the rabbit hole in search of its secrets. So it sounds like there's a lot of mystery and intrigue with Returnal, which I really like. So I'm just going to keep moving along here. Uh, we have IGN giving it an 8 out of 10, saying the moment to moment gameplay of Returnal is sublime with a great selection of weapons that each have a wide variety of interesting possible traits, meaningful strategic decisions that can either keep a run afloat or doom it to sink and punishingly challenging yet rewarding gunplay that is consistently exhilarating. Even with all of its focus on action, it never drops the ball on the story. Its big issue is that runs last way too long and there's no way to save progress outside of putting the PS5 in rest mode. That saps the desire to immediately return and try again after a failure, though not enough to grind it to a halt. Even so, Returnal is an incredible roguelike like and one of Housemark's best games today. So IGN is pointing out something that some people might have a problem with, which you know I'll have to experience this for myself. Apparently some of the runs are just too long uh, to play in one sitting. So I guess for some people that's going to be a problem, but I'm going to, I'm going to scroll down here and try to find some of the not so great reviews. So the lowest review I'm seeing is a six out of 10 from games beat. So let's see what games beat is saying. This is again, the most negative review so far. Uh, games beat says this lack of variety in the style of play makes every run feel samey and they begin to blur together. That leads to a, a rottenness that made me want to put down the game when I was struggling with the difficulty. I like challenging games, but roguelites need to walk a fine line between familiarity and routine. Familiarity is the warm embrace of something that feels like home. Routine is boredom and it is poison for a game like this. So uh, overall, that's a really negative review. I mean, 
I guess this person who reviewed it at Games Beat just really didn't like it, which is honestly understandable. You know, it kind of reminds me when I when I went over some of the reviews for Death Stranding, where uh, some of the negative reviews for Death Stranding were basically just like they just didn't like the gameplay loop of Death Stranding, and I could understand that because you could you could clearly see it's not for everybody. But it seems in this case more people than not, like most people like the gameplay loop of. Uh, of Returnal here. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm reading a lot of very high praise for the gameplay loop specifically. So uh, yeah, that's those are some of the reviews. I want to close out this video by letting you know what Housemark had to say, thanking Sony for giving them this opportunity. So it says here, developer Housemark has penned a letter addressed to Returnal players ahead of the game's launch, discussing general challenges involved in game development, especially during CV. Reflecting upon its past and the last four years of Returnal's development, the studio specifically thanked Sony for providing it with the opportunity to work on something, quote, very risky, unquote, while providing, quote, fantastic support, unquote. So this is what they said. In the age when game publishers are taking less and less creative risks, we are truly thankful to our publishing partner, Sony, who has given us the opportunity to work on something very risky and has given fantastic support during the whole project. We are forever grateful for having this opportunity. The developer went on to thank fans who've been supporting the studio through the years, adding that shipping games is no small feat. Shipping games is hard. Shipping games that are bigger, more ambitious than the company has ever delivered before, featuring things that we've never done in our previous games, like translating Housemark arcade gameplay from 2D to third-person action and adding substantial storytelling elements is even harder. Then adding a total new challenge in the form of CV, forcing us mostly to work remotely, we can start talking about some additional challenges to game development, which is never easy in the first place. So. Just wanted to close the video by letting you guys know what Housemark is saying here. For anybody who needed further proof that Sony is far from done uh, when it comes to taking risks and trying to elevate smaller studios to really reach their full potential, Housemark is the perfect example of all of this. And I'm so glad that this game is dropping at a time like this when there seemingly is more doubt going around than there has been in the past and a lot of... Uh, negativity from certain outlets and certain individuals just you know trying to paint a certain picture and paint sony in a certain light when it comes to their games and their game development and then we have something like returnal dropping and just literally you know it's just like sony said let the games do the talking and in this case returnal is doing a lot of talking and it's saying a lot of very important things. It's saying that Sony still takes risks. It's saying that Sony still cares about smaller game devs. And it says that Housemark is an extremely talented studio that at this point, Sony, if anybody there at Sony's listening, consider trying to acquire Housemark if Housemark is up to being bought because they need to be part of PlayStation Studios. They have, in my opinion, more than proven themselves here with Returnal. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know if you're somebody who maybe was unsure about whether you were going to get this game, but now that the reviews are out, you are sold on it. Let me know. Leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification icon, and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.